Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic after a very long time with no classic videos. Uh, the biggest reason why we haven't had any as of recent is I've just been waiting for some new content. And we finally got some new content with that being the Axis Deer. I have been waiting so long to get a new species in the game. And it's really cool to see that Axis Deer is the next species. Now, we had talked about this quite a bit on the live streams over the past month or so. And this was my number one prediction was that they were going to put Axis Deer on Bushranger's Run. And sure enough, they did, so let's get out there and try to take some of them down. So that's definitely not an Axis tier, but that's actually a really good size feral hog male. 960 to 1160 on the estimate. This thing is huge, and we definitely need to try and take this guy down. I mean, I can't pass up a good size hog, even if it's not the main target of the video. So I do have the 7mm Odd 8 with me today as our main rifle, and it does have a bipod, so we might actually just try and take the shot right now, however, I don't know if we'll be able to see the one that we want. Uh, there's a few different hogs here, and I think that's definitely not the one that we want, unfortunately. And I don't know if I have the hog squealer, we'll have to take a look. Well, it looks like I did forget to bring the hog squealer, so we're gonna have to just try and track this thing down. And that's not necessarily going to be the easiest thing since it's just gone over a hill and there's a high chance that we'll spook it as we're trying to sneak up on it, but it's really the only choice we have. You know, I could be wrong, but I think that's a piebald hog. I don't remember what they look like, but... Yeah, I think that might be. Uh, I think instead we're going to just take this thing out real quickly since it is... Just kind of chilling right there. And that should at least be a decent shot. Now, I don't exactly know where the big one went. I'm pretty sure I spooked it off when I spooked a goat. But I have no clue where it went from there. I saw one of the females up top of this hill. So, we'll head in that direction after we pick up this uh, potential piebald. Like I was saying, I really don't remember what the piebalds look like, but... I have not seen a hog that looks like this in a long time, so I believe this is them. I, I guess we'll see once we pick it up, and yeah, this is a piebald feral hog. A 700 at that. I think that's actually tax worthy. This is the first rare hog that I have got since uh, they added trophy lodges, so that's pretty cool. You know, since it's typically pretty difficult to position these hogs in a good way, I think this is about the best we're going to get, so... Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. I think that looks pretty good. And we will go ahead and taxidermize that because it's been a very long time since I've got a rare hog. And we still have a pretty big one to chase down, so let's hope this guy ends up being 1000 plus, and if so, this could be pretty incredible. Oh my gosh, that is a huge axis deer. <laughs> that thing looks massive, that's gotta be at least 180s, although I have not seen a lot of Axis deer, I've only seen a couple videos on these things, and I haven't even looked at any of the screenshots of the ones that are on the leaderboards. I just saw that, I believe a 208 is the top on the leaderboard, but this thing looks huge. I think this could be a really good Axis deer, so we just need to get close enough to take a good, reliable shot, and... Yeah, hopefully this thing ends up being as big as I think it is. So there's our Axis deer. There's actually two of them. One is much smaller than the other though. So we're definitely going to take out the bigger one. It's 186 away. I don't know how this is going to go, but we might just try this shot. We've got the 7mm Odd 8. It's a pretty reliable rifle and we do have the bipod, which definitely helps a lot. It's one of the coolest parts about this gun. Let's see if we can manage to make this shot, if it will let us lift up enough and I think think there we go so that's our guy he looks absolutely huge I'm so excited to get him down and that will do it that is an absolutely giant axis deer I can't believe that we came across something this massive as our first one of the day and we already stumbled across a piebald hog and a 1160 max estimate hog and we still need to go find that guy. I have not been able to see him since that initial spotting, so I don't even know where he could have possibly gone. Just look at the size of this Axis deer. That is incredible. I really don't know uh, what their scoring is like, what type of deductions they'll have. 
Uh, but I guess, my guess is it's probably gonna be the short tines like anything, but they really only have a couple tines that could be short, and this one looked pretty even, so... I guess we will see what it ends up scoring, and it is a 182. That is absolutely huge. Um, I don't know if that's tax worthy. I don't really know too much about them. I'm not sure how rare a 190 is going to be or a 200, so I guess we will see. But for now, we'll probably tax this guy because it's the biggest one that I've seen so far. And actually, it's the only one we've seen for that matter, but that's pretty incredible. And honestly, I'm really liking the way that looks right there. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit more. And that should be perfect right there. That is a beautiful axis deer. So let's go ahead and taxidermize that as well. This is going great so far. We've already got two tax worthy animals and we've barely even started the hunt at all. We're only 20 minutes into this. There's hopefully going to be more nice things out there waiting for us. So we finally have another axis deer out there. This one's not nearly as big as that last one, but it still looks to be relatively decent. And I think this one might even be a little bit of a darker fur type, which is kind of cool. Because it does look like they have more than just the normal orangish color for the commons. Let's move up a little bit so we can actually get a angle with the tripod and, or well, bipod, and we'll see what we can do here. Ah, uh, this thing's pretty far away, so this is going to be a bit of a long shot, but I think we can make it. And it stopped right as I was about to shoot. I have no clue if any of those shots hit, but as it was running away, it actually looks a bit bigger than I initially thought, so that's kind of unfortunate that we missed. It stopped right as I pulled the trigger, unfortunately, but we should be able to catch up to it and hopefully get a shot into him. So it does look like one of these shots actually did hit, so this thing should die. I could not imagine it surviving a shot from a 7mm Mod 8, so I would not be surprised if it's up here, just not too far away. Uh, we can hope at least. Well, there it is. There's Axis Deer number two of the day. Definitely not as big as the first, but that's still a pretty good looking one. Would not be surprised if this breaks 140 or one. Oh my gosh, this is actually bigger than the last one. You know, with our second Axis Deer of the day being one point bigger than the last and both of these being over 180, I'm starting to wonder if these are actually hard to find or if this is kind of the average because it certainly seems like 180 would be big considering the top of the leaderboard is like 208. I could imagine that 180s is probably pretty decent, but we found two of them already. That's just crazy. I swear, these guys can be next to impossible to position the way that you want them. Uh, but it does appear we finally got a decent pose for this guy, so let's just put that like there. And I'd say that looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm, I'm liking the way that looks quite a bit, so we will just go with that. But that's another beautiful axis deer. And if this ends up being anything special, we'll end up taxing it, but we do have 24 hours to do that, so for now I'm just going to sell it, and if it ends up being something good, then we'll tax it later, but I don't think that the 180s are going to be tax worthy. We did tax the first one, but that's just because it was the first Axis deer we ever killed, and it was actually a pretty good sized one, so we'll hunt them around, we'll hunt around a little bit more and kind of see what is the average score for them, what is big, what seems to be a giant, and we'll kind of just go from there. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Axis Deer and what you think is considered a good Axis Deer, what's considered a monster, because I'm curious what your guys' take on it is from your experience. Well, we just fast traveled and I believe that was, yeah, that's an Axis Deer grunt and oh my gosh, it's actually incredibly close. This is... Not what I was expecting to find right next to the outpost. Well, I guess after two really good axes here, it would only make sense that the next one that we find would be relatively small. And there's actually a kangaroo right next to it as well, but we're going to target this axis deer. Definitely not nearly as nice as the other ones. And I do think there's another one coming in over here to our right. And if I'm not mistaken, it looked even smaller, so... I think our luck for giant axis deer has uh, come to an end, and now the small ones have come to play. One of them's definitely close. I can hear it moving. I believe it's right there. Yeah, there it is. That is definitely smaller than the other one. That is incredibly tiny. Um, we don't want it to spot us, so we should probably take the shot as soon as we can. 
And that should take care of that. Now we got this other one to worry about, but I don't believe it would have spooked from that, so we should be okay. So I'm afraid this one's going to be coming in at a pretty weird angle, but I think where it is right now is our best bet. Not 100% sure what we'll be able to get on this shot, but it should sink right into the lungs if we aim slightly high. And regardless of what we hit, it did end up dropping, so that's really all that matters. Now we can actually go up and claim these two. This thing right here is incredibly tiny. This might be the smallest axis deer of them all. And it only scores 43. Uh, we're not going to trophy shot it, but we will kind of take a look at it real quickly just so that you guys can see it. And yeah, that is really tiny. It honestly looks like a springbok type of horns because of how small it is. Interesting. Very interesting. This guy was a little bit bigger, but still not really anything too impressive. Although we hit pretty much every piece of spine that we could. We got, I think, half of the ones that you can possibly hit. Scores 86, and it's definitely bigger than the last, but nowhere near the size of the first two that we took out, and I got a feeling that we're not going to top those first two for a little while at least, because they were pretty good. These still look amazing, though. I gotta say, I'm incredibly impressed with the Axis here. I think this might be some of the best models in all of Classic. Definitely incredible looking and they really outdid themselves with these things and after about another 20 minutes since we saw the last two axis here we finally have another one out here and it's i think about the same size as one of the last two it's definitely not super impressive and neither is the one next to it but it is a couple more males so we will try to take both of them out if we can now the question i have is will we be able to take both of these out before the second one escapes i think we'll get one for sure but i don't know about a second one i think we definitely hit both of them uh the second one looked to be a pretty poor shot though so it's probably not gonna die super fast but i think after a while it will probably eventually lay down and die but might take it a bit of time well, that does appear to be blood from both Axis deers, so we definitely got both of them. I don't think that they're going to die too close to each other, though, because one was hit decent, the other was hit pretty poorly. So I imagine we're going to have to track down both of them, and they'll probably be quite a distance apart. Oh, wow, they actually died right next to each other. I would not have expected that. I'm pretty sure we shot one of them in the foot, so I thought it would have ran farther, but I guess not. So, let's go ahead and claim both of these. I have no clue what they're going to score. Probably around 80, like, yeah, 87. I was going to say probably around 80 like that last one did, but this one is a little bit higher scoring. Still a pretty small axis deer, but we get another good look at one of the smaller sized ones. Or, I'm guessing this is probably going to be average size, because we've seen quite a few of them now that are about like this. Uh, this is... Appearing to be a pretty average size for the Axis deer. I think we honestly just got lucky with those first two because all of these other ones have been relatively low scoring. And in fact, both of these were 87s. So it is definitely looking like the 80s are probably going to be average Axis deer. I guess 80s to low 120s, 130s, probably somewhere in that range. So I think temporarily we will keep the Axis Deer in this lodge. I did want to keep this lodge, just non-typicals and rares only, but this is really the only place I had to put this Axis Deer with a trophy that I would actually want to replace. So for now, it's just going to chill here, but it looks so good. I'm very impressed with these Axis Deer models, and I think the Axis Deer True Rex in Classic might be better than the ones in Call of the Wild, actually by quite a bit. These things look incredible, and they didn't really sacrifice any size they still look massive but they just look a lot more like real axis deer which is incredible i'm definitely going to be hunting these guys quite a bit so let me know down below if you guys want to see some more axis deer hunting in the near future and if enough of you want to see it then we'll probably do another video on these guys very soon and our little piebald feral hog is going to go in the same lodge that we have our 1162 so i figured this is the perfect place to put it i didn't really have any other free slots anyway so it kind of worked out perfectly but 
I'd say this guy looks good here. It's a bit unfortunate we don't have a full body platform for him, but I don't like this more than I like the other animals that are on the full body platforms. Maybe eventually we'll get another lodge just for rares, but as of now, this is where this guy's gonna go, but it's pretty cool that we managed to find him along with two really good axis deer in the same hunt within probably 40 minutes. It's honestly pretty great. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below what you guys would like to see me do next here on the Hunter Classic or on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I will try to respond to as many comments as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!